Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the new guest host here for the Start With Stock series. My name is Ines Alea, and today I will be showing you how to contribute to the awesome Adobe stock market. As you might know, I run an educational filmmaking YouTube channel, and on the side, I've also contributed some great templates to the Adobe stock. In today's video, I'd like to show you how that's done. So ready for this and I'm glad to be here. So we're going to make a simple yet professional and cinematic intro in Adobe After Effects, which we will finalize and convert into a motion graphics template so you can use it in Adobe Premiere Pro with all its editing glory and contribute it to Adobe Stock. An amazing way to share your work and get some revenue while you're doing that. I'll show you everything step by step. Just make sure you don't use any third-party plugins. Make sure you also own the rights to all the images and assets you're using in your project. So without further ado, let's get started. I started with a standard Full HD composition at 24 FPS and 10 seconds long. Then grab the text tool and write your title. Make sure that if you want to contribute this title to Adobe Stock that you are using general text like your text here. I'm also using the font abolition from Adobe Fonts, which is really important if you want to contribute it and add a bit of tracking in between the letters to make it a little bit more cinematic. To center your text, I'm using the Align tab. Next, go to Animation, Animate the Text and add a Position Animator. We will also add an Opacity and Blur animation to our text. If you animate the Y value of your title position, you'll notice that all the letters are coming with it. This is because we're using a range selector. So we'll need to add a new selector, Wiggly, and delete the range selector. Now, if you want to do the same, you'll notice the letters move separately. So we'll move the Y value up and then create some keyframes for all the animators at the beginning of the timeline. Also decrease the opacity and increase the blur amount, then move two seconds in time and reset all the values to its original state. Next, we want to dive in the Wiggly animator and set the wiggle seconds to zero. So we don't have any wiggling animation. That's not what we want in this case. Now we can select our last keyframe, right click and add a keyframe assistance easy ease to add a smooth stop to our animation. Jump into the graph editor and use a speed graph. Here you can select your points and adjust your animation graph to your preferences. Now we have something like this. Let's copy our keyframes for the entire animation and copy them. Then go nearly to the end and paste them here. Now right click on these keyframes, keyframe assistance, reverse keyframe. Now we reverse our animation for the outro. If you want, you can also add an extra opacity animation to fade in the entire animation. And again, copy that opacity to the end so it also fades out. Now we can concentrate on the border around our text. I'm just going to make sure that I have nothing selected in the timeline. Then I will click on the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Also center the rectangle if you want to resize it. Open the rectangle path and uncheck the size constraint tag so you can resize the rectangle to your preferences. Uncheck fill and add a wide stroke. You can also set the stroke to around 10 pixels. I found that works best for me. Next, we want to animate the stroke coming up while our text is still forming. So go to add and add a path trim effect. Open the trim path and set the start and end to 50%. Then make a keyframe for both of these settings, move a few seconds forward and then reset them to their original value being 0 and 100. Now we can also play with the offset to determine the location of the path start. Again, you can add an easy ease effect and play with the graph editor until you're satisfied. Once you're done with the entire box, now you can duplicate this box and then select the box layer below it and change the color to yellow and offset it a little bit. This will give your entire look a little bit more of a dynamic feeling. It will make your entire intro a little bit more fancy. So there we go. Now there is only one last thing that we are supposed to do. And that's freezing the intro timing and outro timing so that you can modify the entire length duration and don't lose the intro or outro animation timing. To do that, we will go to composition, responsive design, time and set an intro. Adjust the timing of this new blue selection bar until it covers all the keyframes of the intro and then do the exact same thing for the outro and there we go, these keyframes will never be affected now. That's how to create an intro in Adobe After Effects. All that rests is to do now is to convert it into a motion graphics template and export it for Adobe Stock. Tune in tomorrow and see how that's done. Take care, goodbye.